everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the codename Android ROM ice cream sandwich ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. You're definitely going to want to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video. But as I said, ice cream sandwich based ROM, it is similar to CM9 or AOKP, all those kind of ROMs, just with their, their own individual style tweaks. Um, this ROM itself I do really like. Um, so far, it's been really great. Uh, I do want to make a note of things not working bugs. Uh, pretty much everything is working except for video recording. You're going to have issues with video recording um, that is being worked on, so hopefully that will come in the near future. But for now, uh, no video recording for you guys. I believe Netflix might potentially be buggy as well, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, other than that, uh, you really got a solid build going. You got GPS, you got picture messaging, you got text, calls, everything you pretty much need uh, running and working well. Anyways, right away, let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, it comes with the stock ice cream sandwich launcher. It does have a uh, couple tweaks to it as well that you can make some changes. Uh, right away, you'll see basically ice cream sandwich style. Up at the top notification bar, you'll see, I mean, you, you basically got your ice cream sandwich style style theme to it up at the top. Uh, swipe down, as you can see you do have indicators but you can remove those and edit them. I will get to that in just a second. As you can see you got Google Maps installed. You can swipe away your notifications that you don't want to see. Somewhat transparent notification bar um, as you can tell. So you can see right through it. So very cool there. Anyways, other things I do want to go over. There's a lot of awesome settings that you can actually mess with and change. Um, you can definitely tweak it to your liking, um, which is really great about this ROM or any other ice cream sandwich based ROM. You got your folders, of course, on your home screen. Uh, you got your app drawer going side to side horizontal and you got your widgets where which some of them you can resize of course uh, you can drop bookmarks on there and resize it you do have visual voicemail going on so there you have it you got visual voicemail working which is great i know a lot of people complain about ice cream sandwich ROMs not having it but developers got it going which is awesome of course so nice going there we got our ice cream sandwich dialer i also before i show you guys anything else i do want to give a shout out and uh thanks to my man tcp friend of mine big shout out to him he's the developer that got this going for us this ported over to us the code name android rom some other things i want to show you i'm going to go ahead and press menu go to settings scroll down go to about phone you'll see android version 4.0.3 as i said ice cream sandwich Codename Android ROM. You'll also see it mentioned as CNA ROM, codename Android. So if you see it like that, um, you will know what we're talking about. Just like CM9 is short for Sign Gemma 9, of course. Other settings that you can play with, there's a lot actually. You got interface right here. So you've got interface settings, you have a power menu, which would be your power menus when you press and hold the power button. You'll see your power menu goes up. You can actually edit what shows up there. You can have it show the power menu. You can have it show reboot menu um, it, with your reboot profiles. You can have profiles menu. You can have screenshot. So I added profiles and screenshot. You'll see there's profiles, there's screenshot right there. So I mean, it's really nice that you can just edit that power menu right there. Show airplane mode, torch toggle. So if I want my torch to be there, I can turn it on right there via my power menu, which is very awesome that I can do that. So actually really nice to have that uh, that feature within within the ROM itself actually. Other things uh, that you have that you can mess with this notification widget, which as I said is up here. You can just turn that off actually. Just uncheck that and it's gone. So you got your stock ice cream sandwich look to your notification, uh, your notification bar right there, which is very cool for those of you that don't like having those widgets there. You do have a setting shortcut. Just press that icon, takes you to settings. But for those of you that want to show it, you have other uh, indicator settings, etc. but you can change the buttons that show up. Um, you can have you can kind of edit the buttons up at the top your airplane mode if you want airplane mode to show just check it You'll see airplane mode is right over there on the right side uh, So you, you can really edit all these you can change the order as well Just go to widget button order you can change the order of them So overall very nice settings that you can mess with there you got your battery options You can have a different style battery icon you can have text only um, so you'll see it just went straight to 71% which is obviously a little different but still pretty cool that you can uh, just show a percentage for those of you that just like that, which is obviously understandable. Other things you've got, uh, you got icon with text. So you'll see icon with text up there. Another style you've got is icon with centered text. So you'll see the centered text right there in the middle. Uh, 
You also have the circle mod. So circle mod is obviously your circle battery icon with the percentage in the middle. And you also have hide. Oops, sorry. So why do you ask, would you want to hide your battery icon? So you see it went away. The reason being actually is another modification you can make to this ROM, which would be the battery bar option, which some of you are familiar with, with the My UI ROM actually. So uh, battery bar location, what you can do is I'll recommend saying top of nav, uh, sorry, not top of nav bar, status bar. Um, status bar, you'll see that bar pop up right up there. That's how much battery you have left. So when it's at 50%, it'll be at the halfway point right up here. Um, so it's kind of cool that you can have it do that. It doesn't clutter up anything up there and you got that nice bar there. You can change the battery bar style right there. You can change the thickness along with the color. So you can change the color of that battery bar up at the top. So for those of you that like having that battery bar up there, you do have that option, which is very cool in my opinion. I do like having that. Another awesome, amazing thing that you have is actually clock widget. You can change the clock style. You can actually have it in the middle. So if you want your clock to be in the middle there, you can, which is very cool. You can also have it be no clock if you don't like a clock up there. Uh, you got your clock colors. You can change the color of it. Um, other things, you got your signal widget. You also have lock screen style, which I think is one of the coolest things about this ROM. You can actually have lock screen layout, which I like a lot. Um, you can have the stock layout, stock layout, centered ring, centered, uh, big clock. You have a lot of layouts, a number of targets. You can have four where, where you can edit where you want it to. You can unlock down, unlock right. You can have six, you can have eight. Um, you, you customize which applications you want as well. As you can see right here, lower, upper, target, it lets you customize the application right away. I have four and I have unlock, camera, phone, messaging. So uh, those are the ones that I use right here, um, and, which is great, obviously. So, I mean, you can customize it to your liking, which I think is very nice. Uh, lock screen options as well. You have many options within here. You can show the battery percentage, etc. So many different things there. Uh, you got backlight settings, rotation settings. You also have quiet hours where you can uh, edit when you want your phone to not make any notification sounds. You have LED pulse and just general settings right here. So you got general settings down here, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's just the interface settings alone. So I know that was a lot. You have performance settings. Uh, be careful with all of these. You can disable the boot animation. Uh, just kind of be careful when messing with those. You have profiles and launcher options. Of course, you can change the number of home screens. You can change the, basically, if you want any animations, transition effects when going through screens. So you have those options as well, um, which is pretty cool. You also have advanced testing options. Uh, be careful with messing with these build prop settings. You have a lot like LCD density, Wi-Fi scan interval. So if you want uh, your interval to scan at a longer time, you can. If you're someone that leaves the house and uh, forgets to turn off Wi-Fi, then you can have your scan interval longer uh, so it's not always scanning and using your battery. So uh, be careful when using these, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing. You, you have a lot there, spare parts setting being the spare parts application built into the ROM. If you've never used spare parts before, it's just kind of battery information and animations and such. Uh, other than that though, I mean, it's really a smooth, fast ROM if you have not noticed. Uh, overall, everything's running really well, really great. You got your stock ice cream sandwich, uh, your browser right here, which I haven't even gone to yet, as you, as you guys can tell. I'm on my Wi-Fi obviously, as you can see. So, uh, got your stock ice cream sandwich browser, press and hold the home button. You got your recent running apps list. You can swipe it away to exit out of them, uh, get away from them as well. But other than that, really, I mean, you do have face unlock as well. So for those of you that were wanting, I'm gonna go to settings, go to uh, security, and then go to lock, screen lock, face unlock, there it is. So set up your face unlock, you got that going for you. If, for those of you that do like the face unlock, which is understandable, on the lock screen, of course, you can swipe down notification bar, as always. Uh, but other than that, that's really about it. Just a, a full review of the codename Android ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.